And everyone, welcome, welcome. Uh, we'll get started shortly here. Uh, welcome, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome everyone, we'll get started shortly. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. All right. All right, guys. As you know, um, on, uh, on Wednesdays, uh, we do uh, our trading in the zone, right? Trading in the zone, trend following, and uh, using our trading systems. All right. So welcome, everyone. Um, I'm going to share my screen. So I'm going to go through the markets um, and then we'll open up the floor for any questions. All right. You guys might have. So welcome, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. All right. Um, the first thing we want to take a look at um, are the dollar pairs. Oh, by the way, Mary, welcome. Hey, Kay. Welcome, Kay. Otto, welcome, Otto. Hey, Stella. Welcome, Stella. All right. Um, the dollar index, guys, right here. You guys should see my um my screen. If not, please let me know. All right. So trading systems, trend following, and trading in the zone. All right. Um, as far as the dollar index, that's holding firm, right? Um, didn't have a big move today, but still holding clearly in that in the markup phase. All right, green candles. All right. Um, as far as the equity markets, all right, we're still in the markdown phase. So the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, um, and the Russell is still in the markdown phase. This is on the weekly time frame. 
We are seeing um, some support here on the Dow, right here. We've got support right here on the Dow, right around 30,000, 29 and change on the Dow. All right, so this area right here, all right, so this area of support, and as you guys know, we always want to pay attention to support and resistance. So right here, and uh, the S&P and the Russell and the NASDAQ looks uh, very similar. So we should be out of stocks, and uh, we've been out of stocks for a while now. So um, that hasn't changed. All right. We actually see some of the um, the indexes uh, breaking support. Uh, as an example here, um, you look look if you guys look right here on the S and P, the S and P is actually breaking through that support. All right, right here, and you can see here. And uh, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. All right, so we right here, and we're breaking support getting into um getting into that um redistribution phase so the s p is definitely in that redistribution phase um, markdown phase uh, definitely moving lower so sellers we've got new sellers coming into uh, the s p and the same thing for the nasdaq so we should be out of stocks guys um long up definitely out of stocks long all right let's take a look at the nasdaq here all right and here's the nasdaq nasdaq is in that redistribution phase all right we know it's in the markdown phase but here it is, redistribution phase, right? Breaking support, right? Here is our support line. Let me open it up. All right, so you guys can see that right here, right? Here is support. It's breaking through that support. That's redistribution, all right? So we should get more sellers come in to push that price even lower, right? Let me draw it out here. it out. <clears throat> Here were highs, highs. All right. So we've got lower highs. All right. Lower lows here. Lower lows. All right. Lower lows. All right. And here we are right here at support. And here's this candle right here. These are new sellers coming in. Hey, Gerald. New sellers coming in. All right. Hey, David. Hello, hello. And uh, so that's that read. This is what that redistribution phase looks like, guys. That's redistribution. We know we're in that markdown phase, but that's redistribution right there. So whenever that happens, we know new sellers are coming in, right, into the market to push that price lower. Okay, so the market, equity markets, this is the equity markets now, uh, not too healthy, right? Uh, the Russell, the IWM Russell is holding. So it's holding support right now. But we've got two out of the four indexes that are breaking support, entering into that redistribution phase. Um, the Russell is holding strong right now. So here is support right here. Okay, pretty good support. If you guys look here on the Russell, but we anticipate it will follow the other, all right, the other um, indexes. All right, so support, previous resistance is support, all right, right here, right here, and right here. So we ant we'll anticipate a breakthrough that support and follow, get into that redistribution phase. All right, hey, David, welcome. Get into that redistribution phase and follow the other um, uh, the other uh, uh, indexes. Okay, so uh, the trend again this evening we do trend following mindset and using the trading system. So 
we know that the equity markets is in a markdown phase downtrend. All right. So, all right. Any questions on this so far? Any questions on this so far? Any questions on the indexes? All right, the VIX, so the VIX volatility index, as you guys know, we measure the VIX, the volatility, we use the VIX to measure volatility. So as the volatility increases, right, in, in Forex, um, in Forex, we like volatility, all right? Doesn't work so well in, um, in stocks, in the equity markets, all right? So we want low volatility. All right, let me do this here. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on here. Uh, price. All right. So right now we've got volatility at uh, 33. All right, so a number above 20 is not good for stocks, okay? So as that volatility increase, so does the pressure um, in the stock market, all right? Pressure to move lower. So um, right here, we're at 33, all right? A good number for stocks would be um, around below 20, all right? So all the way down here is where we would need to be and lower, and we all the way up here. So that's not good. That's not good for stocks, all right? That is definitely not good for stocks, all right? So um, we'll continue to see the equity markets move, uh, move lower, all right? All the sectors are down, all right? All the sectors are down, all right? So here, our index is here. Sectors are down. The only uh, sector right now that's up is energy. We don't have a buy signal yet. We'll watch, uh, we'll watch uh, that energy sector. If we get a buy signal and we start seeing stocks in Stock Boss and Bull Master in that sector, right? We might call a rotation, all right? We might call a rotation for the energy, for energy stocks. Um, energy has been starting to move higher, all right? And we'll take a quick look at, at that sector, all right? Um, and you guys, if you guys look right here, right, energy right here, energy right here is moving up, okay? So crude oil, gasoline, natural gas, natural gas is still down, but uh, definitely moving up. And then precious metal, right? We're starting to see gold and silver. So if we look right here, right, there's other sectors. So you guys know, we always want to follow the, um, the indexes, the VIX, the volatility index, then the sectors, right? Then the sectors, then the stock, all right? So I know sometimes we get anxious and we just jump into to a stock to buy a stock, right? But we can't do that, right? We have to pay attention to, to the whole macro, right? All right, so sec the indexes, VIX, sectors, then the stock. All right, so if you guys look here, gold is trying to move higher right here. It's up here. We still need some price action here, um, but on our radar here, it's definitely moving higher. Um, silver, same thing, and then energy is, is still right here. All right, a lot has to happen, but they're definitely um, getting some movement there. Energy was up for the day. So the XLE right here was up for the day. Uh, biotech was up, consumer staples, gold, and consumer discretionary. So no buying yet, okay? But it looks like energy and precious metal might start to make a move higher. And they've been beat down for a while, especially uh, gold and silver. Um, nothing um, with uh, cryptos. Bitcoin is still the same, right? Right around, if you guys look here, right around um, 19,000, okay? So still trading at uh, support right here, all right? So still trading at support. If the equity markets move, continue to move lower, we could see Bitcoin move lower. Our goal, right, our target, right, 
right now it's, it's still about 10,000 on Bitcoin. All right. So we've got pretty good support at 10,000 for Bitcoin. So if it, if it breaks that support right here, if it breaks that support, we can get into that um, redistribution phase, but it's holding, it's holding firm right here for now. All right. Right at around 20,000 on Bitcoin. All right. Any questions on this? Bitcoin. All right. Um, Monster Scalper, who here is, um, who have trades? Mary, I know you've got trades um, in, um, in the dollar pairs. Um, who else have, Stella, do you have any trades in the dollar, in the dollar pairs? No, I don't. You don't? Okay. No. Okay, um, we do have a new rotation, all right? We do have a new rotation um, in the dollar. Um, we looked at the dollar index right here. So it's still holding firmly. Um, uh, we had um, a pullback in volatility, all right? We love volatility in Forex, but we had a lot of the pairs and this happened quickly, all right? We had a lot of pairs. Let me open this up a bit. We had a lot of the pairs that um, uh, started to consolidate. All right. So we had about 40, 40 pairs or so that were all above 20. All right. So we want to use our system. Right. And I send out a message today on this early this morning that we had decreasing volatility. So we had a lot of pairs entering into a consolidation, all right? When this number here, 20 and above yellow, that means we've got um, pairs that are breaking out, breaking resistance, starting to trend, all right? But all of a sudden, we saw volatility dry up pretty quickly within, within a day, all right? With, um, with Forex, happened quickly, all right? So we still have, the dollar pairs that are holding, we're starting to see a move in the yen pairs, um, but not a lot of direction right now, um, but uh, we're still holding firm to the dollar, all right? The top trending pair, the top trending pair right now, um, dollar pair, dollar pair is USDHUF. So that's it right here, okay? Um, USD HUF, so it's holding solid in that markup phase. All right. Um, USD SEK, all right, is here's the buy signal holding right here. We need that, we need it to break this resistance right here. All right. We're hoping that we'll, we'll get some volume overnight. All right. And um, get through these levels here. All right. Um, let's see here. USD PLN holding right here. Here's the buy signal. Hey, Carl, welcome. Buy signal here holding right here. Just want to go through a few of them. USD NOK, that's a new buy signal. All right, new buy signal right here on the break of resistance. I just want to go through a few of these. All right. Stella, I'm surprised you're not in any of these dollar pairs. Um, let's see here. Buy signal here. All right. Breaking resistance right here. So hopefully we'll get a move overnight. Uh, I, could, I could take that one, the USD knock. Yeah. I was um, watching it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one just came out today, so it's still, still fresh. fresh. All right, got it. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't go heavy, you know, just, yeah. but I would definitely get, get, yeah, get in. Hey, Miranda, welcome. Um, let's see here. USD HUF, did we? Yeah, we talked about that one. Uh, USD, there's nothing there. Uh, USD, um, Stella, here's another one too that's setting up nicely. Um, USD DKK. Right, we have um, here is, uh, and it had its pullback already. Those are usually good, right? So here is resistance right here. Here is resistance. Um, this is where we had the buy signal, buy signal right here. All right, 
pull back, right? Pull back, hit support right here, right? Held support, white candle, and then followed up by a big, this is a big green candle here. That means buyers are, are definitely holding, right? And um, this, is all, this is usually good here when that price, look right here, all of this price action right here, right near that resistance. So they're building, they're holding health support and all of the buyers are sitting here, all green candles right at that resistance line. We have our buy signal right here on this candle. So we wanna use the systems, right? Use the systems. And guess what? We have a green candle right here, all right? And if I was a betting man, if I was a betting man, which I'm not, all right, um, I would say we should get a big push, right? A big push, um, kind of like here, like this big candle right here. Always pay attention. This big candle right here. We'll, you'll see the, those big candles. We talked about um, in the beginner's class last night, these big candles, right? These big candles. All right, so... We, should, we could probably see that overnight, all right? Buyers come in to break through that resistance, all right? So uh, keep that in mind. That's not a bad one there, Stella. Right. Um, USD DKK. Let's take a look at a few more. All righty here. Similar, very similar with USD S. Uh, CZK, USD CZK, all right? So don't get discouraged and same thing, right? We had a white candle, right? White candle here, buy signal was here, pull back, held support, right? No red candles, green candles, and now looking to test this resistance and break through, all right? Here's another example here, a big candle breaking through. Here's a big candle here. Pay attention to those big candles. Those are big buyers, right? Those are big buyers. And the same for the downside. Big candle here, big red candle. Those are sellers coming in, all right? Sellers came in to, you know, change the direction here. So these big candles, right, in that markup phase will change that direction. Uh, USD CNH, that was one of the favorite ones here. Um, it's holding, there was a break of resistance, same thing, right? Holding, hopefully test this resistance and break out, okay? It, as the equity markets, keep, to, keep in mind that um, as the equity markets, right, move lower, stock market move lower, we'll continue to see the dollar, right? The dollar and the dollar index um, move higher and these pairs move higher, all right? All right. Uh, dollar Swiss, same thing. So you guys see what's happening here. Same thing. All right. All right. Pull reversed, retraced, white candle, followed by a big green candle here. Right. Buyers are building. Buyers are building. Whenever we get a, a, a white candle followed by a green candle, that's usually very, very bullish, guys. I mean, the buyer, buyers are holding and we're clearly in the markup phase, all right? So I would, I would expect we, 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 you know, hopefully, hopefully we'll get a move overnight, all right? Um, here is another one here. Um, Mary, you've got too many. You're good. You don't need any more. <laughs> um, but Stella, since you don't have anything, here is another good one here. Um, here is buy signal right here. And I know these are trading near the top of the chart, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. Um, here is resistance right here. Resistance, resistance, resistance. Here is our buy signal, this triangle right here. I know it's hard to see on this candle, this arrow here is pointing to this candle, our buy signal, pull back, retrace. This is what we don't like, right? When they pull back, retrace. But guess what? We got a white candle followed by a big green candle and the buyers are holding right here, guys. The buyers are holding, moving up nicely. Look here, look here. 
All right. Higher lows. Higher lows. And waiting, just waiting for a big buyer to come in to break through here. All right. So um, I, I really like this. Now we're trading dollar CAD. Uh, we trade in dollar CAD in um, in Forex uh, Dominator on the longer time frame, but that's a really good setup here. All right, that's a really good setup right here. Any questions on this? Uh, hold on a second here. Um, I want to show you guys. So dollar CAD in Forex Dominator. Here it is, right here. All right, so this is on the weekly time frame. Here's the buy signal right here, and look at that, nice big move. Okay, so, um, so hopefully that will continue. Really good setup here. Really good setup here in dollar CAD. So, pay attention to the dollar pairs, right? You you might find some opportunities in the yen pairs, right? But we haven't called this as a rotation. The dollar pairs definitely we have a rotation there. And then we have um, uh, the dollar index to help us out, right? Currently in the futures market, it's up a bit, not by much, right? not by much, but clearly in the nice markup phase, all right? Basically the same thing with the index that happened with a lot of pairs, right? Retrace, white candle, followed by a green candle, and now we're moving higher, all right? All right, so that's um, the market update. Any questions for me, guys? Any questions or any symbols you guys want to take a look at? Now, we can take a look at any um, stock symbols, right? If you want to take a look at cryptos, we can do that. Um, you know, but we're gonna, we want to focus on Forex. But if, if there are any stocks you guys want to take a look at, um, you know, although there isn't a lot of opportunities right now in stocks, we can do that. So I'm going to open up the floor. I'm going to open up the floor. Any questions, any symbols, anything you guys want to look at, take a look at? Anyone? Any questions for me, guys? Damn it, what the fuck? Arthur, you don't have any questions this evening? Guess what? Guess what? I was down. Today I was down around 100 bucks. But I managed to to profit around thirty five bucks. <laughs> Did you follow your support and resistance rules? Yeah, yeah. I, I had a system and I followed through with it. The, I feel like I'm getting better uh, every time I I trade. Before a lot of my emotions, like oh, I, I like when should I get out? It's going down. It's going up. Down. I didn't know what to do. Really, the emotions was was strong, but. I'm I'm feeling like I'm putting I can put that aside. Um, even even at night I can sleep. I can try to manage to sleep better. And it, I, yeah, I feel like I'm growing and I'm just learning a lot and it's getting easier over time. Very good, very good, very good. Good job. Um, have you started listening to the um uh, the audio book Trading in the Zone? um i was actually looking for it i might i might just uh at the library i might just pull i might just buy it online um well you don't even have to do that so it's on oh, it's no. on youtube right so you oh it's on youtube oh nice yeah okay i'm gonna definitely do that on um finish that on the weekend and then yeah yeah so yeah just yeah go on youtube um uh type in trading in the zone It'll come right up. You can start listening to it. That will help you with your mindset and calming some of those emotions. Mm. Right. So good job. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Uh, Mary, you have any questions? How are your positions doing? I'm still... Um trying to be extremely patient <laughs> after a whole day of uh, hopeful moments i seem to be back where i started <laughs> which is not bad because i've been below that a couple of times uh -huh. so yep i'm just being patient yeah this is mary's first your this is will be your first full week of trading right yes um, I want to go because you had sent some of the pairs um, 
Um, and you guys can always do that. If there are certain trades that you're not sure about, um, just let me know. I'll certainly take a look at those. Um, Mary, I want to go through um, the pairs, your pairs. So which, which pairs did you have again? So I have um, CHF. USD CHF, okay. Was that the only one or you've got some more? I have CNH. USD CNH, okay. You want some more? I have three more. <laughs> yeah, give me all of them. C CZK. C Z K okay. D K K. U S D D K K okay. And S E K. U S D S E K. All right, and we talked about that, right? A, a bit too many, too many, for your, you know. Um, um, but that's fine. You in them now, right? You in them now. Um, usually two, right? Wanted to especially start in. Right. So, guys, you know, when we start up new traders, don't, you know, one or two trades to start. All right. Get 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 warmed up with, you know, kind of dip your toe in. Not, right. But um, we'll but that's fine. That's fine. We'll um, we'll take a look at those. Um, so let's see here. I think all of those should be holding fine. So here is uh, let's see here. Uh, and guys, if you have any questions on this, this is how we learn. All right, this is how we learn. So dollar Swiss. The advantage of, if you have, these are five positions, if they go in your favor, Mary, that's great, right? But if they break down and, and they give a sell signal, whether it's a white arrow here, so you know, follow the system, right? Or a red candle, we've got to get out, all right? So the more, the more um, positions we have, the higher the risk, okay? Um, all right, so here is dollar Swiss. That's looking fine, all right? That's looking fine. Here was the buy signal here on a break of this resistance, right? We talked about this pullback, white, um, white candle, and still holding fine here. So nothing to worry about with uh, dollar Swiss. USD CNH, uh, my only concern is that you, you're trading um, a bit more, um, but I know these are small trades, so it's not a major concern, but uh, still a concern. Um, USD CNH right here, buy signal here, holding fine, all right? If we break through here um, overnight, all right, or even, you know, um, by the end of the week, you should do well, all right? Um, so that, that looks good. Green candles, markup phase, no sellers. We don't want any red candles. No red candles, no sell signal, okay? Green candles, we don't mind getting a white candle here and there. Uh, USD CZK, uh, USD right here is another one of your CZK. We talked about this one, right? Holding, here is resistance right here. Buyers are building, buyers are holding and building. And if you guys look here, look at this here. Look at this here. Look at this here. Look at this price action here. See how the buyers are holding that trend line? Basically the same thing as this moving average here. Just holding, right? So our goal is they'll just continue to just keep moving up, all right? Hopefully we get a big pop, a right? big candle, and just keep moving up. That's the, that's the hope. We do not want it to break support. If it breaks support, Mary, so keep that in mind, Mary. Uh, don't do anything, right? Don't do anything, but guess what, right? If that price breaks previous resistance right here, become support, all right? So if the price comes down, so we don't trade on emotion, we just watch what the price action is doing, all right? If we get, you get like a big red candle here, kind of like this here, 
right? This big red candle here will get a sell signal to get out here. All right. You see that, Mary? Yes, yes, I do. Um, if I hadn't been looking at the system, I can assure you there are many times I would have dropped out. <laughs> yeah, so use the system. That's why it's here. That's what it's here for. Use the system. It keeps all those emotions in check, right? Now, you have two areas of support, right? So you have resistance right here becomes support, and then you have another area here. That's your, that's your, like your last resort here. So if it, if it just fails, totally fails, I'm not saying it will, I'm not saying it will, but here it will, here's your buy signal, right? If you get, get a big long candle, it will get you out here or down here. Here's another area of support. So there is nothing to worry about. Right, there's nothing to worry about. You will know, right, when to get out. You will see the sellers coming in, just like here. Red candle, sell signal, break of support, get out. All right, break of support, right, red candle, right, sell signal, get out. We have none of that here yet. None of that. Okay, so uh, you can sleep sleep okay <laughs> uh the next one is usd dkk uh usd dkk let's take a look at that one so and i know you have five positions but kind of just go through you know um once every four hours or so or whenever you you know whenever you get a chance um go through them here is um uh, USD DKK, here is resistance right here. Here is our resistance lines right here. Buy signal, pull back, health support, and here we are, green candles looking to test. Okay, the good news with your positions is that they haven't really broken out yet. So um, if they break out, um, that should be, you. you should do okay. And just hold on. Just hold on. All right. So all these trades are setting up really nice. If they fail, right? If they fail and give sell signals, right? And you take a loss, no big deal. No big deal. You've done your work. You've done the work. All right. You've done what you were supposed to do. No, I, I you traded a bit more, but that's, you know, you know that. Um, but uh, let's see here. USD SEK right here. US, that's the last one here. Okay, same thing. Okay. All right, same thing. If it breaks that support right here, right in here, right, you'll get a sell signal just like this, but nothing yet. The only concern though is that we are trading near the high of that of the chart. We're not coming through that markdown phase. All right. You know, usually we like to come in, buy down in this area here in that accumulation phase. But with the dollar index, look here, right? With the, the dollar index looking to break out, the dollar index is looking really good to make to make new highs, right? Um, uh, hopefully that will push the pairs lower, a uh, higher, higher. All right. So good job, Mary. Good job. And the really good news is that even with the five positions, right, you're still calm, right? And that's really good. That's really, really, really um, good for a brand new trader who have never traded. Maybe you've never traded before, right? No, I've never. Yeah. So, guys, that's really good. That's really, really good to be trading Forex to be in five position and um, she's not freaking out. All right. So that's really good. All right. That, that's what, it, I feel like that's what happened with me today. After the one trade, I was down a hundred bucks and, uh, and I just, I, I sold at a loss. Instead of kind of just dwelling on it, I was like, okay, take the emotion out. And I just looked through other opportunities and found a nice setup. And that's where I made my comeback and 
actually reverse it and end up uh, making a little profit uh, uh, at the end by the end of the day. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, what are you gonna... what are you what are you trading? What, are you trading forex or stocks auto? Um, <laughs> so uh, stocks. So here's the thing, David. Is because in Canada we have a TFSA account, like a tax free savings account, and we can't if if we're trading on margin then they're going to suspect it and then they might treat it like a business and tax and tax it. So um, at this point, I'm just doing securities. I, I'm i not 100% sure if I can do Forex though, but okay. um, I'm going to have to check into that though. Yeah, after watching all this, I'm really interested in it. Okay. Um, you know, I don't want to get into how much capital you trade, but if you're losing $100, $100 on one trade, um starting out is is a lot on one trade okay so understand when we first trading and we're learning all right we don't want to put a lot of capital to work right and i know you know a hundred dollars not might not seem like a lot but it adds up pretty quick right a hundred dollars today two hundred dollars tomorrow right i um, mean it, it adds up so i would um i would because you're still learning Otto. you're still learning right um, so I would, whatever, whatever amount, a hundred dollars is, a, especially for stocks is, 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 is a lot. So, um, you might just want to, um, reduce your size to almost the, the ridiculous. Okay. Like Mary's trading here. She's trading, um, um, a, a thousand units. Okay. A thousand units. So it's like $30, 29, 30, you know, $25 per trade. Okay, so um, if it's if we, we want to, especially if it's a single trade, an individual trade, we want to put a very, very small amount. Okay, on that individual trade. So um, just by that amount, $100, that's that's in, in a day is, is um, a lot for one trade, especially starting up down the road, you can always add more capital, right? You can always add more capital once you get, you know, you're still working things out, right? You're still trying to figure things out. So um, just be, just watch that. Watch that. We want to be, yeah, as that's a, go ahead. Then, no, that's a good point. I'm go, I, I should, I should go uh, on the lower March, uh, amount since I'm starting out. Yeah. 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 Just keep, keep that in mind because, you know, um, we want to protect our capital. Because if we if we blow a capital, guess what? We're out of the game, right? We're out. We can't trade, right? And we, now we've got to go out and find more capital. Mm. All right. Yeah. So there'll be time. You know, once we once once we figure things out, it's it's you know it's it's just a matter of adding adding zeros, right? But until then, um, until then, just uh, protect protect that capital. All right. Initially, you're not looking to like Mary's doing here, right? Her first week, right? If she makes some money, great. But the goal is not to really make money, right? And I know we all want to make money, right? That's why we get into trading. Um, but um, the goal is to, to learn, follow a, a systematic approach, all right? Where where doesn't have a lot of emotions. We follow in something like here, right? Buy and sell, right? Small losses, right? Buy and sell, larger wins, right? Our larger wins take care of our losses. We are protecting. We're protecting our downside. So as the price is moving lower, we're not staying in. We're getting out. All right. Um. So once we have that in place. Right, whether it's whether it's systematic like this, meaning using trading uh, trading system like this, or manually, right? Once we have that all figured out, right, and we 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 have everything else in check, right, then we can we can add more, all right, and that's what we found that works for traders, right? Because what what could happen? You we, you know we don't have a lot of traders um, with us that blow up accounts. Meaning where, you know, um, does it happen? Yeah, from time to time it happens, 
okay? But um, as a norm, um, we don't have a lot of traders where they're, they're just blowing up accounts, meaning they, they lose, they start trading, they lose all their money, they've got to put money back again, lose it, and do that over and over, right? And a lot of traders, they, they, they go through that, where they might, they might go through, some of you might know that, right, before you came here, where you might go through two, three, four, five different accounts, blow your accounts before, you know, you really get going. Our goal is we don't, we don't want to blow up any accounts, even as a new trader, we don't want to blow up accounts, right? No, we, don't, we might not make a ton of money, right, initially. You might not make a lot of money, but you're not blowing up accounts, right? Not blowing up accounts is like making money, <laughs> believe it or not, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just keep that in mind. Keep an eye on, 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 on that and just kind of, you know, um, uh, um, you, you have, we have a lot of time to make money once we, um, once we figure this out. All right. Any other questions? But good job. Good job. You 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 in the game, so you can't you know you can't learn if you're not trading. So, thanks for the advice, David. We you're appreciate welcome. it. You're welcome. Anyone else? Any other questions? Stella, you're not um you're not in any um stocks, are you? You're out. You're totally out of stocks. Yeah, I got out of everything. Okay, good, yeah. good, good. That was good. 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 You know, we'll be ready when it, when the market is ready, when the market comes back, you know, which it will at some point, right? When the selling stops, right? We'll be, we'll be here. You know, look here. There's nothing. Look at, look at, um, stock boss. What was that? Two, four, six, eight, nine stocks in stock boss, right? So there's nothing here. Same thing for bull master. Look at that. Right. So nothing here nothing here all right guys so um we are hoping right we are hoping that um we will you know this is perhaps the best opportunity right now that we can find okay so in the dollar pair so hopefully um we'll get a, a push overnight right and uh break resistance if it fails right if it fails keep an eye on that right Right, those of you who, who are using the systems, okay, Mary, right, Stella, um, watch for those red candles. Watch for those red candles if they come in. So watch for those sellers if they come in, right? Watch for those sellers if they come in, all right? Watch for those sellers if they come in, all right? Otherwise, just hold, hold tight whole time all right all right guys so take care have a great evening i'll see you guys for our equities class tomorrow david uh-huh hey Kay. hi um hi. is it okay if i ask two quick questions sure absolutely absolutely okay got some time oh, oh, thank you i'd mm -hmm. like to know as a beginner how do how do i decide like what to choose to trade with and what's a good time to start? Like, should I finish reading trading in the zone first? Like, like how do I, and how do I get started? Okay. And you've never traded before, okay? No. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, trade it, you, you, you have the book or you're listening to the, um, are you listening to it on YouTube? I started listening to it, yes, today. Today, okay, okay. And what do you think so far? Um, I, on the uh, second chapter, and I'm hearing him saying the same things that you're saying. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So what I would recommend, all right, what I would recommend, I wouldn't start trading. Okay. All right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't start trading. All right. Um, I would continue to listen, right. To that audio book, go through those chapters. Um, and, uh, and then continue it, right. It's even, even still now, right. I'm, I've been doing this for a long time. I still listen to, to that and several other, other books that we recommend. All right. So, so that, that certainly will start your journey. Um, keep coming here, keep coming here, getting that information. Um, I wouldn't start trading though. I wouldn't start just trading. Um, um, you could get some coaching from me. 
right? Um, we have coaching on the website. Um, so you can definitely do that. Uh, and it's inexpensive. Um, uh, what's your uh, website? What's that? What's your website? Okay, I'll put it up here for you. Hey, Stella, while I do that, do you want to say anything to, uh, you've been to the coaching, Mary, you've been to, do you guys want to say anything to Kay about the coaching? Because I think that's what, you know, that will probably help you if you've never traded. Yeah, sure. And I mean, I'll say that the coach, I would definitely recommend the coaching uh, because we're all so different and we have different schedules, different personalities, different temperaments, different goals. So I think with the one-on-one -on -one coaching, it really, I felt it zoned in on me as a person and what my goals were, what were maybe some of the best uh, ways for me to go about trading. Um, yeah, so I definitely recommend it. All right. Thanks. Stella. I know Mary took it more recently. Yeah, Mary just got through the training, uh, the coaching um, last week, I think last week, I think, and then started a week before last. No, no uh, the coaching was a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Uh, but um, yeah, I think getting going through the book and also the sessions as well as the personal coaching um kind of improves your comfort level you you kind of get comfortable with what's happening and uh you get rid of some of the myths or fears you used to have before i think it's getting a better understanding of what trading is all about and then once you have that, you are a little more comfortable. Now you, you are kind of, because before a lot of it was mystery. So, or what you thought you had about it, since I never traded before, yeah. it was kind of shrouded in this mystery. And so once you get some clarity as to how you, what it is about, and then the fact that there are systems you can use to guide what you're doing, then you kind of get rid of that and then begin to think, okay, now I'm getting ready to start trading. But otherwise it was kind of, you wondered, it was this black box, you know, <laughs> you talk to different uh, people who get into investments and they have all manner. I remember one guy who said, oh, if you wanna getting any stocks, not, I want uh, nothing less than $20,000, you know? So you, you get confused. Yeah. So the clarity is, is useful. And I think uh, listening, particularly listening to people's experiences on, in these sessions is very, very helpful. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, you get to a point where now as uh, David said, I can actually watch my little trades go up and down without panicking. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Thanks, Mary. Yes, thank you both. That was very valuable. Thank you. Uh, so, Kay, on, um, you, um, you should see my screen here. This is the website. Okay. Monster Trading System. So, yeah, monstertradingsystems.com. Um, and then here, um, every, every training um, class that we do every evening is um, uploaded here. So, oh, the, okay. daily, yeah, the daily, the uh, daily, monster daily training. All right. So we have all our videos here, all the videos here. All okay. right. And we have lots of lots of videos. All right. Um, training videos. Um, and then we've got uh, we've got information here, right? Information here. So, you know, you can go to blog, the blogs, we have blogs, blog is, is good. Products, we have, we have a lot of different systems. I think 13 systems now. The coaching is here though. This is where I want you to go to. So you can go to the coaching. We have two, two weeks coaching. Uh, two weeks coaching is like a refresher. Okay. All right. Um, it's uh, two weeks, 45 minutes um, each week with me. All right. One-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Um, but that's a refresher. Um, what what Mary has been through and Stella has been through is the one month coaching. Okay. Okay. 
Um, and then we do have six month coaching. You wouldn't need that. Six month coaching is for traders who have been with us for a while and they really want to take their trade into the next level. All right. Yeah. So every week for six months, all right, we do an hour a week for six months. Um, and we have traders that are on that program. Um, we really work with them um, to get them to, to the next level. Uh, the one month coaching, we do one hour per week, um, usually on, on a Friday. Um, that's usually a down, a down day for me. All right. Um, and we're flexible with, with your, your time. I can work, work out your schedule, but one month, one, one hour, one week, um, one hour per week for four weeks. Okay. And do you recommend that I read, read the book first? signing up for the coaching um no you don't have you i mean you you started early right you started usually um our traders we give you a the book which is called um we do give you the book free of charge right so right here trading in the zone right here you get the book free um not these here these uh, you you get with the systems but this one here trading in the zone you get that with um when you do the coaching okay okay so, and you, you, yeah but you've started you've started already so you know keep listening to the um to the to the um uh to the, the audio book okay. okay all right well do. all right thank you you're welcome you're welcome okay you're welcome but that's what i would recommend don't don't open an account and start just trading <laughs> okay i know? won't I, would, yeah. I wouldn't know what to do anyway <laughs> yeah but yeah so all right <laughs> All right, so welcome and keep coming, right? Okay. The beginner's class um, is also a really good class, right? Um, uh, and a lot of what we do is repetition, right? Um, and even for Stella have been with us for a while now, and we have other traders that have been with us for a while. Um, a lot of what we do is repetition, which is what trading is, you know, and it can become boring, right? Mm. Can become very, you know, uh, it's the same thing over and over. But that's how the markets, right? The markets work in cycles, right? And our goal is to kind of be ahead with the market. So um, that book, um, trading in the zone, is is good. So I'm glad you, I'm glad you, um, you, you started with that. Okay, but thanks for being here, and everyone else, Thank everyone you. else. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, guys. If there aren't any other questions, um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. And uh, thanks, Mary. And thanks, Stella. All right. Thanks for your Thank you. for helping Kay out clarify some things. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> hey, David. You guys I wanted... remember? Go ahead, Stella. Oh, sorry. I wanted to say my um. I was looking at my stock boss trade. You remember my master trade? Yes. And so it, it's really good to see how the system worked because, you know, it, it's been read. I mean, it, it's, you know, it had the sell signal, but the sell signal came well before where um, the buy signal came. I mean, above where the buy signal came. Yeah. That's pretty cool to see how the system works. So where is it? Yeah. Where is it now? Is it is it further yeah. down from where you got yeah. out? Right. Yeah. So it's further down from where. I, so I bought it at like, eight dollars the height was about 17 uh -huh. and now it's at 11 11 and you so got that at cool. you got that at what 16 or 17 about 16 about 16, 16. and yeah. now it's at 11 yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's really good to see <laughs> you know so yeah grateful yeah. about that <laughs> yeah isn't that cool that's cool yeah very very cool yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um all right all right awesome and you know Stella we talked about this you'll be able to do it over and over and over right yep yeah yep. and yep. that was your that was your biggest that was your biggest trade and you learned you know when Stella started with us <laughs> everyone you know we we have so many traders and it's so many different experiences and they go through certain all these different you know aha moments and and Stella uh, <laughs> um, Mary's doing really well staying with her trades, right? I, I'm shocked that Mary's um, holding steady like this. Um, Stella, you had a difficult time, remember? <laughs> I, I was jumping out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this trade here was your, 
that was that was the trade um uh I can't believe you stayed in that trade that long, you know, with a lot of of fluctuation, right? A lot of movement up and down and Stella stayed with it and hung in there till the end. So that's, that's, uh, it's pretty cool to see, see the growth, the growth, the growth. All right. All right, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take, take care. Have a good evening. See you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.